Okay, so this is the Vertoba S1 Daydream third party Daydream motion controller. Um, it's it just came today, um, and I used it for a little while, and well, it's a it's a cheap uh, motion controller. You have to ship it in from China. They have it on GearBest, and you can get it from um, AliExpress, which would be cheaper. Um, so. It's like a 17 to $20 controller. Works with Google Daydream. And uh, yeah, it's... So, <laughs> there's the, it's got the usual buttons. Everything that's on the Daydream controller is on this. Um, it comes with uh, lanyard. It comes with a USB cable that doesn't work. Um, it doesn't even fit in the controller, but eh, I mean the Daydream doesn't even come with a USB cable to charge. Um, so, if you want to use your Gear VR with Daydream without having to buy the Daydream View just to get the controller, you can purchase this, and it's not a terrible controller. It works works fine. Uh, the only thing I would say is compared to the Daydream controller, um, this, when you swipe it, it, it kind of judders a bit. I don't know why. I think it may have to do with the actual touchpad, the way it's shaped. I'd have to say this, this actually feels like it was hand constructed by slaves. <laughs> um, it does look... Like, there's some weird imperfections that you wouldn't expect. That you wouldn't expect from, you know, something that was pressed by machine. There's like this bit of a difference in size of this little bump here. Like, quite a bit of one on, from, on each side, which makes me believe that this was like definitely not something that was put together by a machine it just it looks handmade so yeah um so that's that uh it's got an inconsistent click on the touchpad here so like you have to really press hard to, to click there and it kind of gets easier towards the front whereas with the uh the daydream controller um, the Daydream controller, you can click it anywhere, and it's not, this is like all one piece, and it just pushes that plastic down, whereas this is actually, over here, is actually a button, and it's not one piece. Also, th this, this is rubberized, it has a very rubbery feeling which makes, you know, doing stuff like this a little bit harder, but it's not really going to, it's not going to kill anything. It's not going to kill the experience for you. It's just that it's got a little more of a grip all over it, which could be, I guess, some of it could be a good thing because you could easily hold on to it, whereas this makes, it makes it a little harder to use the touchpad. But again, it doesn't really, it never affected the experience when I used it. Um, also this is less recessed than the actual Daydream controller, and, um, this is basically the same. And it does have a contour to it, which I like. Uh, that's better than the Daydream controller, so when you hold it, there's a, there's a bit of a, con a contour when you hold the, the controller, which is more comfortable that way. However, this part right here is a little, a little slightly sharp, and again, it's not something that hurts or anything, it's just slightly uncomfortable, as opposed to the daydream controller which has rounded edges right here this is all round and it doesn't stick into you but on the flip side of that the it's kind of the edges here are less comfortable than on this which has 
The Vertoba has a more round, it's more round on, on the edge here. But, you know, it works. It's got the volume rocker, unlike that other, uh, what was that uh, third party one? The, um, there was another one. But this one has the volume rocker and uh, everything that the uh, Daydream has, uh, Daydream con official controller has. Um, it also works as an HID compliant controller. I don't know. I haven't tried that. I didn't plan on it. And um, yeah, so I would, if you have a Gear VR, I would highly recommend using that. I'm also gonna link to a video uh, from Daydream District to show you how to use any headset in uh, Daydream and so you don't have to use that. I personally hate that headset. I think it's terrible. Um, but the Gear VR, it works great with the Gear VR. Just it won't launch the uh, Daydream app automatically when you put it in the Gear VR, but it's not really that hard to do. So um, that's that. So you can just use your Gear VR which is a great, amazing headset. It's the best headset I own, and I own quite a few headsets. But yeah, the, the Gear VR is a great headset. The Daydream View, uh, I have friggin' $15 headsets that are better than that. Honestly, you, if you want to get a, a Bobo, a Bobo is, is better than the, gear, than the um, uh, Daydream View. Bobo is a way better headset. There are other headsets that are way better than that. If you're going to spend that much money, I would even recommend that you get the Homido headset. That's a great headset. Uh, it's got great, um, great, uh, great FOV, everything. So, you know, if you're interested in um, in in using Daydream. And you have maybe a Galaxy S8, so in my case, I have a Galaxy S8, and it does Gear VR and Daydream. So if you have that combination, um, you know, pick up one of these. You don't have to worry about spending all that money on getting the Daydream headset, which honestly I feel is a huge waste of money. It's a... Uh, the light bleed in the daydream view is horrific. It's like you have the sun in the friggin' headset. It's ridiculous. I could, I actually walked around my house with the daydream view headset on to see if I could actually walk around without bumping into anything. And I did it perfectly fine. I could probably drive a car drunk with the friggin' daydream view headset on my face. <laughs> it's that bad. Um, so yeah. <laughs> But the Gear VR works very well with it. It's very clear display. You know, it allows you to adjust it a little if it's not sharp enough, whereas the Daydream View doesn't. So I would more recommend picking this up. And there's one other, one other uh, Daydream controller I saw that's a little more expensive. It's in the, it's 30 something dollars. This one you can get for like 17 bucks or whatever. And honestly, I thought the, the 30 something dollar one the, these buttons were rectangular and didn't look like they would be comfortable. But this works just fine. I used it. It uh, worked. No problems. I didn't notice any difference except for, oh, like I mentioned, the, you know, swiping on the touchpad was a little iffy. It's not impossible. It's just, there's like a, a slight, it, it goes like this. You know, it does this kind of thing. Like you get to the end and it's like, you know, or it judders like this and does that. And that's like something that happens in menus and things. And, uh, but every game I played worked just fine. So that was that. And, uh, yeah, so that's the controller. And thank you for watching.